What's going on guys, the Inhuman Pete Dan, I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Welcome to a brand new episode of Avengers of Assemble, where I stumble over my words in my intro and then nervously get it back together. Today we're having a look at the very first Spec Ops hero ever created and ever released. It's Domino. No, it's Mockingbird. As soon as I scroll my happy ass over there, there she is. Yay, hello, Mockingbird. Those of you who are unaware, uh, uh Bar, 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 Barbara Morris, I, I think. Uh, for the reference, I'm not fully awake. I'm basically in autopilot mode right now. <laughs> I'm waiting for all the caffeine to kick in right now. I am super fucking tired was researching a way to recreate the super soldier serum when she was recruited by S.H.I.E.L.D. There she trained to match her athleticism to her intelligence. Despite a lack of powers, her natural combat prowess has earned her a place on the Avengers team. So basically she's just an average Joe that has trained to be really fucking good. The, uh, the unique thing about Mockingbird was she was the first generalist actually introduced into the game. I mean, aside from the agent, but she was the first hero generalist. And that does change thanks to one of her powers, which is mock combat. When attacked, uh, she changes class to the attacker's counter class, not triggered by counterattacks. Which basically means if a tactician attacks her, she will change into an infiltrator. And vice versa, so on and so forth. Ugh. Tactical Insight. She has a 50% chance to gain an extra turn when changing classes. This effect can only trigger once per round. Her abilities are Twin Strike, a one enemy melee attack with deadly crits and pressure points. Pole Vault, a one enemy melee unarmed with a two round cooldown that applies combo setup and stun. Critical Intel, because this was the early days of Marvel and everyone had to have some kind of buff ability. Seriously, go check them all out. Most of them have at least one buff ability. Uh, is an all enemy debuff with a three round cooldown. It is a quick action, it is subtle, applies weak point, and critical intel. Mockingbird changes to her target's counter class before attacking. So basically, she gains the. Uh, basically, with this, she'll change before she attacks. So she always gets the upper hand. And finally, one of the most devastating attacks, I'm not sure how much more devastating it is now, because frankly, well, we'll get into that anyways. Uh, it's the Mocking Blow, a one enemy melee attack with deadly crits and Paragon Exploiter. So yeah, you can obviously see the combo that's built here for you, and that's beat them up with Twin Strikes to apply pressure points to the enemies, critical intel to follow up immediately, applying weak point and critical intel so you're always on top, and then follow it up with the mocking blow to do severe, deadly damage. Mockingbird is definitely a good character as to the fact that she can change classes on the fly. The problem is she can't decide when to change. She changes when she's attacked, which might kind of screw you over unless you have critical intel to immediately change. Afterwards, she is a decent attacker, all things considered. She has, like, a decent combo. It's easy to build, easy to flow to, which is good for all things considered. I mean, she was the first additional hero released. Be it that she was released for a spec ops. Excuse me. Ugh. Is completely relevant, or irrelevant. She is a good hero, but I'm not sure if she's worth the 200 right now to pay up for her. Uh, like I was saying with the damage that she did, um, I don't know how good it is still anymore. Because frankly, this is like the problem I have with a bunch of like, older heroes, sort of. They're not bad per se. Like, she's a good choice if you're looking for someone like that. Or just a generalist to fill out for your PvP team. But there are others who can do her job better. Personally, I think the Punisher is a better option, especially with his E-ISO, where he can... He basically gets the same ability, he changes right before someone attacks him. The only difference is, he can choose when to change, but that's just my opinion, of course. That's just a th Okay, insert game theory quote here. Um, 
but yeah, so, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and stop saying if they're recommended to get or not. I'm just gonna tell you my opinion on the characters now, and I'll leave it at that, because I feel that's, that's how this is, this is that's how Avengers Assemble should be from now on. This is, yeah. So yeah, Mockingbird. Good attack, she has some good passives, and, I mean, she's decent for the very first hero that was introduced into the game. And when I mean first one, I mean after the initial release. After Wolverine is all of the new heroes, because they stopped being alphabetically ordered. Yeah, fun. <laughs> uh, fun thing, go back and look, they are all alphabetically numbered. <laughs> or alphabetically letter- alphabet- alpha I'm tired. So anyways, that's going to be it for now, guys. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.